Well, it's Monday, and um, Danny is here, who's installing our septic system. And um, he's brought along a lorry full of, I think, gravel or sand for um, the drainage field. Now, for those of you that don't have septic systems back home, um, they're quite simple, but in some ways uh, complex. And in our case, for some reason, because we have the land, they've made ours even more complex. Um, normally, you might just have a tank, and that's where all the waste products would go to, and then every once in a while, you would have that uh, drained. In our case, because we have the land, they're trying to make it as environmentally friendly as possible. So you have the system that comes directly out of the house. It goes into a huge tank, about the size of a, a small tanker. And then it goes through the piping that you see there into the drainage field. As you can see here, they've lined it with a pond liner. And uh, boy, would I love to have that for my pond. Um, it's like the size of a small swimming pool, to be honest with you. Um, <clears throat> at least small sp swimming pool by my standards. And what he does is he layers this with a lot of sand. Um, and what happens is all the overflow waste that comes out of the tank will come into this sand field and then the sand itself will actually um, much like a pool filter for those of you that are familiar with that will um, you know through gravel and sand um, will actually filter out all the waste products and then there is yet another waste outlet and Danny's just about to get into the mini digger so I best get out of the way um, and then the, that other waste that goes out so this is the gravel So he puts that down first, so you get this layer of gravel, and then he'll put down uh, different uh, coarseness, uh, different layers of sand of different types of coarseness until it gradually becomes quite fine.